What's going on, everyone? So today we're just breaking down on my tournament from last weekend. Didn't go our way. Um, some issues with um, exhaustion and hydration and what to eat. Um, those problems will be corrected. But I definitely wanted to break down this tournament because I felt like it's good to watch myself back. Um, even if I didn't win, just to, you know, know where the game needs to be improved in, uh, in the state I was in. So, off rip, I grabbed a guillotine. It was looking tight. It was looking good. He did a great job of lowering that right shoulder to the mat to able to get some space to breathe, and then he was hand fighting. So, he actually broke my grip, and um, I uh, we end up in a close guard. Um, yeah, and I'm kind of grabbing for a Kimura. I don't really set it up. Um, and then we're back back to a close position. And yeah, I'd just like grab a Kimura. Um, no setup, no nothing. Um, and even even at this level, you know, I'm a white belt. I've, I haven't even been doing this for a year. But even at that level, you know, you 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 got to set stuff up like that, um, unless it's there, which it wasn't. But um, here, I used the Kimura for a sweep, so the Kimura actually benefited me. But as far as the submission went, n nowhere near a submission. But I was able to to get a sweep, get those two points. And end up on top. Yeah, we start. Love the sportsmanship. He was a, he was a great opponent. Um, and so here he just kind of <laughs> just kind of stands up. <laughs> and then I I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I don't I dude I was I was somewhere else this tournament, bro. I was chasing butterflies or some shit. <laughs> um, but he's got a fast double leg, you know. So I sleep for a second, and that man blasts it. Um, and we are back on bottom. And so here I'm um, pushing and pulling. Pushing and pulling. I try to get that, that knee up and um, set up a triangle. He does a great job defending that. And so we are back on our, our backs, fighting from a closed guard. What I want to see me do next time is, dude, play half guard. I don't know why, but like I was just so invested in this closed guard for some reason I'm not, I'm not entirely sure why but I really didn't like opening it or trying different guards um and you can see I'm, I'm keeping an active guard somewhat you know trying trying to climb those legs up his back trying kimuras trying triangles um a couple times I tried an arm drag he did a good job defending in here he almost passes but my guard retention is actually looking pretty good here even for um for what's going on Guard retention's good, and he does a. I tried a last minute arm bar, didn't didn't exactly pan out, but um. So it was tied. So this is um overtime. Um, we get one minute to do work. And uh, yeah, my legs are straight, locked. I'm breathing heavy. I was yeah. By this point, I was exhausted, and I don't even really sprawl. I just try to eat it, and he does. He just dude. You can't have that. Man puts me right on my back. Beautiful, beautiful takedown and beautiful control. I'm trying to climb to the back. Um, my head was stuck. So, you know, you can't really climb to the back if your head's stuck. So he ends up flattening me out. Flattening me out. And, um, yeah, just trying to keep an active guard. Trying to get those frames in. I think here I'm attempting an arm bar, but I don't think I had the elbow. So, um, yeah, it didn't really work. And, um... We're scrambling, scrambling. He actually gets up. I'm like, cool, I'm down two points. I go over <laughs> and almost get the takedown. Um, but I didn't have control, so time ran out. So I ended up losing that first match. Alrighty, now on to the second match. Um, yeah, baited the takedown, and he actually uh, sprawled, but then he hits me with a beautiful takedown. I have great head control here. Try to spin to the back, but didn't clear his arm. In order to spin to the back, you got to clear the arm. Beautiful throw, man. I can't even say shit about that. He just, that was beautiful. And right into side control as well. Um, my hips were not lower, okay? If you want to do the throw, your hips have to be lower. If you want to defend the throw, your hips have to be lower. And my hips were not lower. Um, so here we go. We're back into it. Getting that stand in. Just touch, touch, feel. Feeling out process. My legs are straight still, and that's just a huge issue. Um, and so here, uh, a guillotine attempt. I actually had forgot 
I did this until I watched the video back the next day. I had no memory of doing this. And so when I watched it, I was like, holy shit, I did like, I actually did better than I remember. So here I'm in on a guillotine. Um, and it, it was close, but once again, he puts that right shoulder to the mat. Um, close guard isn't the best guard to finish a guillotine. So once again, my, my finishing mechanics are going to definitely need some improvement. So right now, I believe it's, uh, he's up like four to one. I think he gave me one point for that sub attempt. Either way, he's up, he's up a good amount. So here we're back to it. Um, and I just, um, go for a Kimura. His arms are locked. Can't, can't really do anything if his arms are locked. So I'm just kind of grasping at straws. Um, and I'm keeping the guard closed. Okay. There we go. Okay, finally. Yeah, so I, I. I would have liked to dig a hook in and tried to elevate him and tried to get a sweep with the Kimura. Instead, I went for a triangle. My triangles aren't the strongest, but um, I was sub hunting once again, man. Making when you're tired, you take shortcuts, and I was definitely trying to take some damn shortcuts. Um, and so here, I'm getting close. I'm grabbing for that ankle. I'm trying to grab for that ankle, but no, he's just he's too tough for that shit, dude. And he knows what's up. So he does a good job of stacking me and then slowly fighting the grip and fighting fighting my legs to where he's not just confined. And I believe he tries to sit through. Yeah, he does try to sit through at some point. And so here, it's a good amount of weight on my lower back as well. So that tension, I'm like, oh, cool, let me try a sweep. He does a great job, great job of scrambling. I mean, he takes top control again, and I'm back on my back and guard. Let's me stand up because, you know, takedowns. If you can't get around my guard, you take me down because you can. So, you know, he played a very smart game. I probably should have just pulled guard because, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> um, get, get taken down, and I go right to that close guard. Um, and I'm fighting for a Kimura here, and I'm thinking maybe I can get a sweep with it. You know, even if I can't finish, maybe I can get a sweep. But, you know, no setup for that Kimura lock. So, yeah, we are... Um, in close guard, I'm just fighting for that arm. Um, and I didn't exchange my energy. You know, I feel like I wasted a lot of energy trying to do things that I shouldn't have. And I didn't spend energy. Um, I just didn't spend my energy. The limited energy I did have, I didn't spend it properly. That was pretty cool, but then he rolls me right back over. <laughs> so I had hooks, I elevated him, and he does a good job of putting me back. Um, so yeah, y'all, I just wanted to, uh, to break that down, um, because I'm, it's not all about wins, you know, the L, the L stands for, um, lesson in this video, and we learned a lot, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more content like this, preferably not me losing, but <laughs> breakdowns and stuff, you know, like the video, give me, um, give me some feedback in the comments if you have time, and as always, love y'all, catch you in the next one.